Hey guys, what's up? It's the Snake Dude eighteen fourteen here, and in this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up an enclosure for a baby corn snake. Now, let's discuss heating your baby corn snake. What I like to do is plain and simple, a heat mat connected to a thermostat. The thermostat that I'm using is made by the Zilla company. You will know that I really like the Zilla products. Other thermostats on the markets are the Jump Starts. Uh, I believe Exoterra came out with one. And I think Zoomed released an updated one next to their Hygrotherm, which I use for my Chinese water dragon. So there's a bunch of thermostats on the market. Really what they do is, depending on the style, this one in the case, you set the dial to the desired temperature which for our baby corn snake is going to be about 85 degrees and how it works is they have an outlet right here that you would plug the end of your heat mat cord into plug it in there just like that then you plug your thermostat on which I have an outlet right here for demonstration purposes and you should have a little green light that signifies that the thermostat is on. You will see now that there is a red light indicating that the thermostat is on and heating your desired heat product. So what I like to do is put the thermostat aside, let it do its work, and set the probe of the thermostat onto the heat mat. That way your heat mat will not overheat and burn your snake. So now we have our heat mat and the thermostat controlling the heat mat. Now all you do is you take your terrarium or should I say plastic habitat really any tub works for a baby snake again I really like tubs for babies because it's smaller the baby snake feels secure and it's quite easy to manage too and you simply just slide that right over your heat mat and now what will happen is is now you have a warm side and a cooler end for your baby corn snake for substrate with baby corn snakes, many of you guys will probably have guessed it, I like to use Aspen. I use this for the baby corn snakes and I use it for my adult corn snakes. It's great because it keeps the habitat dry which corn snakes like. They aren't really much of a tropical species should I say. And overall it makes it really easy to clean. Poop stands right out so you can spot clean and makes the process super easy when keeping a baby corn snake habitat clean. When setting up a baby corn snake terrarium, I like to use three major components. A hide on the warm side, a hide on the cool side, and a water bowl. So, as I stated, we have this tree stump looking hide which we can place right over our heat mat. We have a little coconut that the snake can hide in. We'll place that on the cooler end. And then at last, we have a water bowl that we can set right here. What I like about this water bowl in particular is that there's a little notch right under it so the baby snake can actually hide under there. And as many of you guys know for my adult corn snakes I like to provide a moist hide because especially up here in the winter like it is now it gets really dry. So condensation will form under that water bowl making it sort of a water bowl and a moist hide to allow the corn snake to have access to a higher humidity area when it chooses to shed its skin. And speaking of shedding it's always a good idea to have a little branch or like a rock in there. This here happens to be like a fake tree, got a nice rough surface, so I'll just set that in there. The baby corn snake can climb on it. When it's shedding, it's able to rub its head against the branch to help peel that skin off. And overall, it adds a little bit of an accent to the tub, even if you aren't going to be looking at it too much. Now, with this tub completely set up, we can add our baby corn snake. So overall guys, I really hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how to set up your baby corn snake. Definitely they are a great pet snake. As you guys know, I love corn snakes. They're my logo after all. So if you liked the video, definitely leave a like. Definitely subscribe here and watch a video next over here. And until then guys, this is the Snake Dude 1814 and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.